All right, hey guys. Um, so today we're gonna be doing something kind of cool. So uh, right now, Books A Million is doing a buy two, get one free on all graphic novels and manga. Um, I know all manga is included, and I think some graphic novels like Marvel, I think they said when I talked to the lady on the phone, is excluded. Um, but either way, I'm basically gonna be doing like a shop with me, but in person. So I'm outside of the mall right now where fucking um, it's supposed to be, but I've never been to this mall before. It's out in Grapevine. I don't live in Grapevine. Uh, if you're like in the Texas, you know, Dallas area, you might know where that is. Never personally been to this mall, my first time here. So I'm parked outside like at Neiman Marcus. I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing, but I plan on just taking some video inside. I'm probably not gonna be talking in the video. I'm probably just gonna like throw some music over it and kind of just show you the selection. At the end, I plan on showing you the hall when I get home. If this selection isn't all that great, I know there's another, um, books a million over in sherman which isn't too close but also not too far so if i'm disappointed here i'm probably gonna go check that out but you know i plan i know there's a books a million here i want to see i might go to the GameStop. i kind of just plan to see what's here at this mall but yeah we're just gonna go ahead and go inside All right, so we just uh, left the mall as well as Books A Million. We did pick up some good books. It was very nice. I signed up for the membership there. Uh, the guy with the counter was super helpful, super nice guy, but it's just a beautiful day, so I kind of want to show that off. But yeah, he, he helped me sign up for it. Basically, I got like $10 off uh, my order just for signing up. Um, and then with all the discounts and stuff, he said I basically saved about like 20 something dollars today um, doing that. So I'm basically already almost there because it's like 25 bucks to sign up. So I thought that was pretty cool, really nice. But yeah, I think I'm planning on heading um, to the Sherman Books Million as well because I did pick up a few, but I feel like I just didn't get um, as much as I was really wanting to out of this. I bought a couple more like expensive ones, which were very nice, uh, and that definitely did help. I feel like the you know the more expensive books, this is when they really shine. Although how it's set up, you know, obviously it's only gonna the free book is gonna be your cheapest book. But yeah, we're probably gonna head to Sherman. I think it's about a 30 minute drive. So I'll see y'all there. All right, 
right, so right now we're outside of a moving trading company. So I just got out of the mall. I picked up a couple things there as well. I'm just kind of in a, a bit of a manga buying mood, honestly. Uh, Books a Million was, I don't know if disappointing is the right word. Um, I just, I think my expectations were too high. I was expecting it to be this crazy, awesome place. Um, but you know, it just, it had good selection, but not as much I was hoping for since it was, you know, a location that was inside of a mall rather than, you know, like a, a individual store. Um, but anyways, right now we're outside the movie trading company. I plan on going to half price books after this. And I think I'll probably call it after that. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and inside. So I'm back in a, yeah, I bought some stuff. So let's go ahead and start looking at it. All right, so this isn't necessarily gonna be in order of where I went, but kind of just in order of size from smallest to largest. So first off, I picked this up right here, uh, Yozakura Quartet, while I was at um, Half Price Books. It was like five and a half bucks. Never heard of it before. Read the background, sounds kind of like your typical, like, harem rom-com type shit um i was like whatever so i picked that one up so next then uh gamestop it was not manga that i bought but and still anime themed stuff so for 15 bucks i got uh sorta online lost song because lately i've been like really fucking nostalgic for some reason for sorta online um i don't know why or what's going on but you know i just wanted to pick up some sorta online stuff you know got the disc in there so I plan to keep on picking up some more sort of online stuff. So you can look forward to that. I don't know why it just got, it hit me. I'm just a big fan for no fucking reason. But then I got an Eevee Funko Pop. I hadn't really seen Eevee anywhere. Um, so I was like, you know what? I kind of want to get all the starters and Eevee's kind of like a, I don't know, you know, it's same way like Pikachu's not a real starter, but there's just something about Eevee to where just kind of thrown like lobbed in with that. So we could set that down. So next I will say, I sinned. I'm sorry, guys. I forgive me, please. I I know in the video. I don't think I recorded this. I went. I should go into box lunch, but afterwards, I went to Hot Topic, y'all. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to check out the shirts they and the Funko Pops. I did end up buying a couple shirts, so I'm I'm sorry to let y'all down. But first off, got a nice little just survey core and the uh, green color. So it's got the small one on the front, big one on the back. I just picked that up and they were doing uh, buy two or buy one, get one half off. And I was, this was the shirt that made me get, I want to make sure I take off. The, yes, there it is. There's a size thing. I don't want you guys knowing what size shirt I am. I'm not embarrassed. You, you probably, it's probably obvious what size, but nonetheless, it's a fucking Nezuko shirt, which, yeah, I don't know. I bought this because I looked at it, but I don't know if I can actually see myself wearing this. Um, but nonetheless, I don't know. I pink has just been a color that's been growing on me um, as of lately. I still hate purple. I still think purple is a fucking awful color. Like my least favorite volumes of manga would be anything purple colored. I can tell you that now. Chainsaw Man Volume Three. Fuck you. I don't know why you're color purple. But nonetheless, um, yeah, I, I've been liking pink more, and I wanted something Demon Slayer. So I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. I saw someone else looking at this, and that's whenever I figured I would get it. But yeah. So next. We're looking at um, Barnes & Noble, which I did go to Barnes & Noble after I went to uh, Books A Million, because I wanted to go to Books A Million Sherman, as I said in the video, but that was like an hour drive from Books A Million Grapevine, and I was not about to drive an hour, so I would just settle for Barnes & Noble. But I was very happy to find Volume 1 of Rascal Does Not Dream Bunny Girl Senpai, the manga. I believe this covers essentially what would be the first three episodes. Um, and the first three episodes are, in my opinion, I don't know, I don't think I've ever said this on the channel yet. First three episodes of Rascal Does Not Dream Bunny Girl Senpai are the best episodes of any, like, like, best arc, best, like, individual little, like, story section of any anime I've watched ever. If that was, like, a movie on its own, it would be my absolute favorite of all time. So I'm really ecstatic to be able to actually get this. Uh, from what I understand, they're not making any more manga for Rascal Does Not Dream Bunny Girl Senpai. So there's only two volumes of the manga out, um, and that's all there's ever going to be, from what I understand. But yeah really happy to be able to pick this up it's been out of stock online a lot so i when i saw the barnes and noble i was like yeah definitely gonna get that one so 
I also got Fruits Baskets, the Collector's Edition, uh, Volume 1. So I, for some reason, I decided I just want to start reading Fruits Basket. So you can kind of flip through, see some of the art. I'm not going to try and do a ton of individual stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, I saw Collector... I did a Right Stuff order, and they didn't have Volume 1 in stock, but I saw it at Barnes & Noble, and I was like, fuck it, I'll get it there. So yeah, there is that. It's just going to be kind of piling it up as I go. But next we have I Swear I Won't Bother You Again, which I don't really remember what this is honestly about. I just I was on my Amazon list for stuff I wanted, so when I saw it in the store, I was like, sure, let's throw that one in there. But now for the one, the big one, the one that matters is the books a million orders. So I did kind of two, I did ones that were like large um, volumes of manga and then like small volumes because I wanted to kind of, they do it, how they do it is they, they take, uh, when you do buy two get one free, they take off the cheapest one. So it's like, okay, if I'm going to be getting these big volumes, I want the volume, those ones on one order and the other ones on a different order. So that way I get like the best discount I can. So starting off, we got, uh, this was with the small one, the Strawberry Fields once again. And so this is basically a Yuri manga about a um, girl who goes back in the past or like says she's from the future and says that in the future these two will be married and that they love each other and this girl at, at the time when they meet um they'd never met each other before technically uh but they start you know having a relationship i read the first volume but when i realized that the third volume would come out for like another three months after i started reading the first i had the second as well it's like you know what? i'm just gonna wait to actually like fully read this um so you know i've already read the first one i'm gonna be rereading that but yeah i'm happy to pick that one up next i've got an incurable case of love which this is basically about a girl one day uh sees a handsome looking doctor on the street save a guy and she instantly falls in love and becomes a nurse because of that it inspires her later she meets the guy and finds out the guy is not um all that you know as uh not, not the guy he, she fell in love with essentially i don't know much more as i haven't read it but it just kind of seems like a very typical like uh shoujo manga and because of that i was kind of like man i kind of want to read more shoujo um, I, a lot of shoujo is some, like, really simple romance, but that can kind of be enjoyable at times, so I went ahead and picked that one up. And then next is Volume 3 of Whisper Me a Love Song, which this one I was just happy to see in the store, because technically I don't think it comes out till the 29th, um, I think it's like the 25th today when I'm recording this, so it's a little bit early, so I was just happy to, um, see that and be able to pick that up, so I don't really have to, you know, bother going to Barnes & Noble on release day or pre-ordering it on Amazon, so Whisper Me a Love Song, another, um, show you why Yuri thing sorry a bottle of coke just fell but now for the bigger issues so first off um i got the second volume which is rascal does not dream of a petite devil kohai which i saw this and i was like i just kind of wanted to get stuff for a big or the bigger ones which i'll show you the other two big ones that i had wanted for sure and then this one again was kind of just slopped on there but yeah i mean it seems like um you know it's just the later episodes I don't care for this part of Rascal Does After Bunny Girl Senpai nearly as much. Um, but considering there's only two volumes of the manga, I'm like, you know what? I'll just pick up the second one because there's no point in me buying the first one and then never getting the second one. So I might as well just pick up both of them. Which, because I had full intention at some point of getting um, volume one, even though at the, you know, while I was at the store, I hadn't gotten it yet. But next is After the Rain, which I'm really happy to be able to get this one because this is one I plan on watching the anime for. Um, but when I saw the manga, I just... I caved. I was like, you know, fuck it. I need to get this. It's supposed to be about a guy who's like a restaurant manager, and one day a high school girl just like, you know, instantly falls in love with him, and kind of like starts pursuing him. But you know, obviously he's he kind of pushes her off. He's like, you know, I can't. You're a high school girl. This is just not good for me. This is not smart. I'm not gonna do this. But from what I understand, is it's really well done. Um, it's a really good, enjoyable uh, manga overall. And because of that, I'm just really looking forward to being able to read this. And I'm definitely going to watch the anime at some point. But yeah. So, and then for the thing that kind of made me decide in general I wanted to get a big one is right here. Volume 1 of The Drifting Classroom. Which I have not seen this. I had not seen it in person at all. Which, of course, immediately after when I went to Barnes & Noble, I did see 1, 2, and 3 at Barnes & Noble. I almost picked up two alls there. But I decided, no, these are, th so these are big ones. And they're $35 because of that. I was like, I should read the first one because it's very different from what I understand. So, I can just kind of read the, the back to kind of uh, get you an idea of what it's like. It's out of nowhere, an entire school vanishes, leaving nothing but a hole in the ground. While parents mourn and authorities investigate, the student teachers find themselves not dead, but stranded in a terrifying wasteland where they must fight to survive. So, it's kind of meant to be more of a um, horror 
um, psychological manga, from what I can understand. Which, I mean, the only psychological manga, um, or psychological stuff in general I've really seen is, like, Death Note. I have Death Note Volume 1, the Black Edition, but I haven't actually read it. So I really haven't read much. I also, um, do have Volume 1 of Monster, where I picked up not too long ago. I haven't shown that off yet. Um, so I'm kind of trying to get in, into some more of the, like, more mature kind of stuff as well. And just seeing, but I basically heard, um... It was, what's his face? East Coast Manga talk about this. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll try it too. I'll pick it up. I'll see what I think of it and see if I like it. So yeah, but I was a little on the fence about it just because again, it is a, a $35 uh, book that I'm picking up and I don't, you know, I know some about it, but I also don't really know if I'm going to like it. But yeah, overall, that's everything in the stack for the actual manga. That finishes off for everything that I got today. I hope you guys like the actual like buying and the haul part of it. Let me know what you guys think of this. If you like this more than the online stuff or yeah, everything. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.